Hi! Pat and AJ Post Show, everybody. It's Monday. What day is it? It's the 27th. 27th of April. You're so prepared. Did you have a good weekend? We had a fun weekend. Went down to Detroit. Saw Louis Black at the Fox Theater. I think he made me crabby. On Sunday, I was complaining about everything. <laughs> You know what's funny? I got I got into it with with an old friend of mine on uh, on Sunday, and he unfriended me on Facebook. It was funny, but I literally told him. I said, "Look, I saw Lewis Black last night, and he could fire up the the Dalai Lama. So if I'm bitchier than normal, there's a reason why." The title of the show was "The Rant Is Due <laughs> Part Two." I love one thing that uh, Lewis Black brought up uh, in his fantabulous 90 minute show. It was great. Uh, is about how we get sick now. Now, for the past week, uh, the weather changed, and it seemed like uh, not just us, but a lot of people were like, oh my goodness, I don't feel good. Yeah. I, I felt like a Mack truck hit me last week. Yeah. And Look at the Pat and AJ page. There's like a hundred comments oh, from people who said they just didn't everybody. feel good. But it was funny because Lewis Black said basically, we don't get sick how we used to get sick. No. Where you used to get uh, catch a cold five to seven days, boom, you're good. Uh, now you're in for a minimum of three weeks of hurt. Yeah. And I said, man, ain't that the truth? It is. You don't just get a cold for five to seven days anymore. You're sick for mm -hmm. a couple of months. Mm -hmm. And uh, then nobody can ever figure out what it is, but it's just going, going around. around. It, it's always going around. Yeah. Oh, that and, and I love the fact that he also brought up how everyone, uh, you know, self-diagnosis, because we all go on like WebMD. Yeah. And and we all know when, when it's traveling. We go, well, you know, it was in my head, but then it went to my throat. It's kind of in my chest right now. Oh, when now. it goes to my chest is when I know I need to go to the doctor. Like, Come I'll on. wait for that, but that's when I go. <laughs> now, um, the rant is uh, not exclusively being held by Lewis Black. It's also being held by people who went to the other comedy show across the street. <laughs> what happened? Aren't you glad we didn't get tickets? Pat wanted to get tickets. <laughs> to go see Dave Chappelle. Yeah, he was like, okay, well, love we Chappelle. getting us tickets to go see Dave Chappelle, but I don't want to get tickets if you don't really want to go see him. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, I'll go see him. I don't really care for Dave Chappelle, but I'll watch him. Yeah. Then we found out Lewis Black was down a block over, and I said, I'd rather see Lewis Black. He said he'd rather hey, see Lewis Black. Happy wife, happy life. We all get a night out fine. So um. this morning, <laughs> it has come out in TMZ that Dave Chappelle was wicked drunk during one of his shows down the street at the Fillmore. And basically didn't do a show. No, apparently he he, he took the stage an hour late, which they're saying, eh, they were, they were still seating people. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't his fault. It happens. Who knows? Um, but he just sat down and was slurring his words <laughs> and not really telling jokes, here's, not really doing anything. People here's started yelling at him. A clip of nothing happening on stage. Will that answer another question? Dancing on command is old school. <laughs> Did you fight land or land? Wait, 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 wait. Shh. All right. Let's hear some of the act. Listen. Well, sir, it's a little late for that. Right now, I gotta get off stage. It's two o'clock in the morning. It's only one. Oh. And you can tell he's lost that audience. Oh yeah. Well, because the first thing we said, we were like, listen to all the people talking. They're talking. Because that Lewis Black, nobody was talking. No. That's because, man, I don't know. I don't like what his rep said. His rep said, well, Thursday night was not his best show, <sighs> but he came back with a vengeance on Friday, and I said, that's great. Those tickets were not cheap because yeah. we looked into them. What about all the people who paid to see that show on Thursday and exactly. he was wasted and, and they were movies? not cheap tickets, no, boy. It was cheaper to see Lewis Black. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll say this much, and, and this is a great comment that I read online, I, I think from one of the commenters, the Detroit Free Press posted this story, and the guy who was there said, he goes, look, I've seen tons of performers, and yes, yeah, some have been inebriated, sure. and some have not. And he goes, sometimes the inebriation works to their favor. Sometimes it makes it funnier. Yeah, and, and, and he goes, I've seen comics put on great shows, and I've seen uh, musicians, ways to put on great mm -hmm. shows he goes but it, when it gets in the way of your art then you shouldn't be getting wasted before you're on stage no i don't know i mean look i know what happens does that make it okay no because those nope. people paid a lot of money for those right. tickets and they, they want refunds they weren't at every show they weren't at the friday show they were at Give the thursday show when you were wasted i think they deserve a refund Chappelle, we know you're still sitting on a pile of money from comedy central back in the Chappelle show Chappelle days show. come on give Chappelle them back their money show. 
Come on, these are people from Detroit, man. This isn't an LA right. crowd. <laughs> Give them back your money. I agree. All right, click on that button below us. We will never show up wasted and disappoint you. No. We may show up wasted and entertain you. Or we may just disappoint, disappoint you. you without being wasted. Yeah. But click on the button below, subscribe to the Cars on YouTube channel. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.